So today we are gonna put to the test the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual versus the DJI Matrice 210 RTK. Obviously the DJI Matrice 210 is a powerhouse. It's a much bigger drone. Uh, police are gonna use this for much higher resolution with the cameras. You got a 30 times optical zoom lens you can put on it but there's something called the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual that is much smaller, much cheaper also. And there is one huge benefit to this one and that it's quickly deployable, much faster than putting this thing together, getting it out of the box and trying to get it up in the air. Uh, and it's also much, much cheaper as I mentioned before, but both of them are gonna give you thermal images. Uh, so both are great tools. Michael is gonna do a little test here. He's gonna pull in with the car. He's gonna pretend like we've just arrived at the scene of some sort of search and rescue situation. He's gonna try not to hit me or the camera with the car as he pulls in. Uh, and we're gonna see which one's gonna be faster. I, I get, you think- uh, It's definitely gonna be the, yeah, the Mavic. That's gonna be faster, yeah. but uh, let's just see how much faster it actually is.
All right, we're back, Michael. Good driving. Uh, you did a really nice job, and actually, good job putting these together. That was really, uh, really fast. You've obviously done this a lot. Uh, what's your biggest takeaway from uh, the little test we just did? Uh, don't forget to take your lens cap off. That's one thing I forgot to do on the Zen Muse. But um, other than that, I mean, obviously the the Mavic was way faster. Right. I mean, you're not attaching any gimbals. You're not doing anything like that. This still quick. I mean. Once you get the landing gear on, um, then it's pretty much set up for you to work on. You just got to put yeah. the props and then the gimbals on is what the, right. the harder, th the things that can take the longest. I mean, one of the things I do, it, you know, turn the remote on and then that way it starts getting any Wi-Fi that you're going to be picking up or, you know, it just boots up the program. And then when you get everything uh, put together with the Matrice, uh, put it on the ground, put it you know, and let it, let it get its um, GPS. Uh, I did notice that I was able to take off um, and I had vision, but I didn't have the GPS till we were actually up in the air. So huh. that that is probably something you should think about because you wanna make sure that that GPS location is pretty damn, pretty close to you. Correct, yeah. Uh, you know, so maybe hover for a second. For just a second until you get that connection. Right. And the other thing is too, you know, with this one, we didn't set up the RTK base station either. So that is, that would have taken a little longer as well. But I was actually impressed by how quickly the Matrice went together. I knew the, yeah. the Mavic would be faster, um, but that takes practice too. Yeah. That's also because you've put this thing together yeah, 500 right. times over the last couple of years, you know. So there you go. Uh, obviously two really powerful drones and great for police and fire departments. If you're wanting something that's more quickly deployable, uh, obviously a little cheaper, uh, you're gonna get a lot cheaper, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. If you're wanting to go with a powerhouse, you wanna go with the Matrice, we suggest if you can afford it, you go with both because it's great to have one that's sitting in the back of the squad car at any time that you can just pop out of the case and get it up in the air and then have one for more heavy duty work as well. Maybe something with for bad, you know, really, really bad weather, this thing can do, do a decent job in as well, so. And I, I guess one last takeaway as far as like comparison like you know this will still give you a color and and thermal this will give you color and thermal obviously this gives you a huge zoom but i guess what i've been telling people is if you're if you're looking for something where you're going to be flying under 200 feet then this guy is is pretty pretty good yeah you know if you're going above that then the thermal resolution you're going to lose you're a lot of the, so. uh, you're going to want the xt or the xt2 uh, on on there so all right well thank you guys so much for checking out the channel if you've got other questions you got other things you want us to try out with our drones let us know we love doing this kind of thing thank you for watching we'll see you next time see you later